Mario Lopez hotline lining up on the phone now is a three-time Grammy winning artist Gwen Stefani. How are you, Gwen? Hey, how are you? I'm well. Your big Vegas residency returns uh, on Wednesday. I was actually at the opening. Got the you uh, were? Pl- oh my god! Thanks for coming out. Very so very crazy. cool show. So much fun. The party afterwards and everything it was great. That's a it's a beautiful theater right there. Um, are you putting some new twists on this one? No, no. I'm basically with the Vegas shows. I for me so far. I mean, that night, that night you came was the first time I'd ever sung the entire show in in, in the, you know together all at one time. Really? Like, we had, yeah. It was this craziest. It was so like hard to put the show together. It was so. Um, there was just so many things that you have to do to get it going and um, and. You know, with rehearsals and stuff, I had never really sang the whole show because I it, it all happens at once, so then I'll lose my voice if I'm singing and rehearsing and rehearsing and rehearsing. So right. I was like, whoa. So I had to, like, after that show, I had to do make some edits because I was like, I can't sing that long. Like, right. long. Like, what am I going to do? And so we fixed all that stuff, and then now we're just sort of rolling with what we got. The show is, it is the show, and we're not really changing it up. Um, I don't, it's not that kind of show where you like, oh, tonight, let's add a song or something right. like that. Um, but, you know, it's going to be amazing. It's been a week long of me trying to get my head wrapped around the show again and starting to listen to the songs again. It's so different from a tour because with a tour, you kind of learn it and then you go out and you do it and then it's over. And this is like stop and starts. So it's kind of di- way different in that way. Plus, it's different because you got people coming from all over the world to see you as opposed to going to like, hey, what's up? It's me and Anaheim. You know, like right. it's just such a different thing. So um, I- I'm really loving it. I feel really blessed, and it's been great so far. Yeah, I got to imagine being there and having people come to you, and and especially when you have a family, it makes it much more convenient, right? Yeah, well, with the family, it's the only way for me at this point because I got school. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) And and, and this is really cool. You're donating a dollar from every ticket to help open the city's first children's hospital. How'd you get involved with that? Yeah, well, when we were doing the show, we always – said we were going to do some kind of charity aspect to the, to doing the Vegas show, and um, we want to do something local, and and so this Cure for Kids is basically a charity that offers, you know, any any sick child can come there, it doesn't matter your insurance, they don't turn anybody away, it's a pretty amazing organization, and at this point, we've raised enough money already to open up a new, like, wing of the hospital, and it's basically, like, these exam rooms that I get to design one of them. So oh, that's great. that's kind of what we're, we're doing right now, and it's pretty rad. I get to meet some of the kids that are well enough to come to the show. I've met some, and some of the parents. That, to me, is the most inspiring thing to see these, like, brave parents and children going through traumatic things. And so just to be part of it is pretty amazing because – I'm just doing my thing by going up and singing these songs, but one dollar for every ticket um, goes towards helping these people. That's awesome. That goes such a long way. That's so cool you're doing that. Um, it's awesome. I also read you're, uh, you're thinking about making some new music. Have you been doing any writing? I, did, I went in the studio last week, and there was um, this girl that had flown in from Wales, and she was Amy Welsh. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. I've. I'm, I can't remember her last name, Annie Wedge. And um, she just happened to be in town, so I was like, yeah, come over, let's write a song. And we did, and then she had another session coming up at, at the end of the week with um, this guy Busby that I'd worked with. I was like, ooh, can I come? Like, It's just so fun songwriting with really talented songwriters because... I don't know, the energy of collaborating with people that all they do is, like, go in the studio and write every day, because I don't do that. Like, it's just really fun. So I, I wrote two songs. I don't know what it means. Like, it's, like, one of those things where I'm just starting, like, starting to, like, think, do I want to do new music? And the only reason to do it is to, like, say whatever I need to say, and I don't right. even know what that is. So I'm just, I'm, like, just going to do it slowly and see what happens. Yeah, start flexing those creative muscles. Get it, You'll get in yeah. there. Exactly. It's really. I mean, to me, there's nothing else that gets me fired up. Like, the creative process is so intense, though, because, like, you'll, you'll be in the moment. You're writing a song, and it's being created, and you're like, oh, my gosh, this is so good. This is so good. And then you have it, and you listen to the demo over. Over and over, and then all of a sudden you're like, "Is it that good?" Right. And then you like get sad, and then you're like, "I don't know if it's very good." Yeah. <laughs> it's always the same every single time, too. But um, I do enjoy because you have nothing, and then you have this song that's about your world, your life, and it's forever. And it's just, I love that. Well, you seem like you're such like life is so great right now with the residency 
and uh, in your personal relationship and with the show. I mean, it'd be a lot of happy music, I got to imagine. Right. That is true. There is there is that. Um, I'm trying to think what the songs were that I wrote. Yeah, they were pretty much happy songs. <laughs> and and uh, how's it, things with you and Blake look like they're all, they're they're great and people always. Uh, it's funny because whenever you're in a relationship, like, well, when are you going to get married? And then after you're married, well, when are you going to have kids? And and why do you think people are so fascinated? Just because you both uh, work together and both happen to be in the limelight. I think Blake is fascinating. He's like a unicorn that everyone loves. And um, so, you know, of course people want to know what he's doing. He's actually out on tour, and so we're both going to be doing shows at the same time in different places. Um, But he has a show tonight, a show last night. And I didn't really, I'm not probably not going to see his show this time, which sucks so bad, because I really love going out and seeing him perform. He's such an amazing performer. He's really inspiring. But, um, yeah, lucky to have a really awesome, talented, humble, generous, handsome best friend. That's Pretty awesome. awesome. Very cool. And, and how are the boys? How old are they now? Well, Apollo actually has his birthday this week, so um, we're having a big birthday bash. It's coming up on Saturday, uh, Sunday, so he's like, every day is like, how many more days till he's turning five, which is unbelievable to me. I feel like I just had him. And it's funny because with the voice and everything, I had basically, we were just talking about this, how I had literally given birth to Apollo and like five weeks later or four weeks later, they called me and they said, do you want to do the voice? And I was like, I just got the weirdest call. They asked me to do the voice. And it was only because Christina Aguilera was pregnant. So um, I got really blessed to be able to have that little fun moment in my life to be on TV and play a different role, you know, where you're kind of like, mentoring all these kids and it was a really inspiring thing for me because i felt like i got to look back and think about all the music i did and and that really like ties into like this vegas show and because the show is so much like a journey of my life on stage so i don't know if i wouldn't have done the voice if i would even be doing the vegas show it's funny how everything kind of ties into each other and like I don't know. It's amazing. Yeah, it does all complement each other. No, it's cool. We get to see your personality, and, and, and people uh, people love it and really respond it. Well, Gwen, congratulations on everything. Happy for you, and, and, and look forward to checking out the show again. And meanwhile, allinmario.com to get tickets for the Just a Girl Las Vegas residency. You can follow her on Instagram, at Gwen Stefani. Thank you so much for taking the time to call in. Thank you. Good to talk to you. You too. On.